Hello class. So today we're going to be doing using estimation and area models to divide for our math. All right, so we're going to start with the problem. So you're going to find this on your sheet, 1,482 divided by 78. All right. So first of all, I'm going to start with go ahead and rounding 78. So I'm going to underline my 7 and highlight my 8 because that's what I'm going to round it to. And the 8 is greater than 5, 5 or greater. And so this is going to round up to 80. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and do a multiplication dump. So 80 times 1 is 80. 80 times 2 is 160, right? I just had to add a 0. 80 times 3, 240. 80 times 5 is 400, okay? 80 times 10 is 800. And 80 times 20 is 1,600. 1,600 is much bigger than 1,482, right? So remember, multiplication is just the reverse of addition, okay? All right, so we're going to come back to this, and you guys can use these kind of tools when doing your own problems. All right, so 1,482 divided by 78. Now let's do the area model. So we have a rectangle. So we're going to place 1,000 in this first column for this place value, right? And then in the second column, we're going to place the 400 for this place value. And then in the third column, we're going to place the 80 for the tens place value. And in the ones, we're going to place the two, right? So this is our thousands, our hundreds, tens, and ones, right? Then we place 78 on the outside. All right. So now we need to figure out how many times 78 goes into 1,000. Let's go back. All right, so 80 times 20 is 1,600. That's too big. But 80 times 10 looks much better. It's not all the way, so we're going to need something else, like the 2s. 80 and 160 is pretty close to 1,000. So 10 plus 2 is 12. All right, so let's try 12. All right, so we're going to do 12. All right, so we've multiplied this out, and that's 936. Now we need to subtract 64. All right, now we need to carry this 64 over to the 400 and add them up. It's going to give us 464. So now we need to figure out how many times 78 goes into 464. All right, so let's go back. All right, so 80 times 5 looks pretty good. Um, I wonder about 80 times 6. Well, I could do three, two threes twice, right? So 240 plus 240 would be 48, right? That would be 480. That would be too big. So let's use the 5. All right. So we're going to use 5, and we're going to multiply it out. So it gave us 390, and then we're going to subtract. Now we again have to add the 74 to 80, which is going to give us 154. All right? So now we got to figure out how many times 78 goes into 154. All right. So... 78 into 154. Well, 80 into 2 is bigger, so it's just going to go one time. All right, so we're going to place our 1 and subtract our 78. All right? And then we're going to have to carry this 2 up. Right? 76 plus 2 gave us 78. Well, 78 goes into 78 one time, right? All right, sounds good. So now I need to see all of these, 12, 5, 1, and 1. I've got to add all of these together, okay? And that's going to give us 19. All right, so now we got to double check it and make sure it works. So we got to multiply 78 times 19, okay? And that gave us... 1,482, or 1,482. Same way, just depending on which place value you read. All right? So you have to check your work. Let me know if you have any questions.